Hey, it's Leslie, and I am wanting to share about how it's so important to stay loyal to your dreams. Um, I'm looking to see if I have any lipstick in my teeth. I'm just having a little lunch on the go in my car. I'm actually about to have my favorite little, have you had these? They're these uh, ginger candy, gingins. That's going to be my dessert, little gingin. Um, trying to be good. Um, why is it so important to stay loyal to our dreams and how can we do that when we are juggling so much? This is the gazillion dollar question sometimes. It, it has been in my own life. I um, work with executive and entrepreneurial women who are ready to bring more authenticity and aliveness and abundance into their lives and into what they do and you know it's it's often I find so challenging for us to sometimes even know what our dream is you know I have clients that will come to me largely because they want help figuring that out and what happens is they end up through a process of, of work we do together, realizing, and they'll come to me and say, Leslie, I just found this note I had in a journal or this list I wrote three or five years ago. Like I've wanted, I've already known what I want to do. And then they start shaming themselves because they haven't taken action around it. And so I wanted to share um, three things with you about staying true to ourselves and staying loyal to our dreams. Um, and the first is that no one has your same unique purpose, your same unique desires, your same soul contract. So because of that, it's really important to, to first of all, be aware of that and not compare and despair. So you don't want to be, you know, comparing yourself to someone close to you, your best friend, your your sister, your family member, your partner, and, and wonder why they have their life all figured out or why they don't have this kind of burning, deep desire to do a career shift when you do. Um, you know, no one has your same purpose and your same desires and your same fears, which is really important to know. I wish that I knew that, you know, so long ago because inevitably... I did a lot of compare and despair, and I also really judged myself for my own fears, which were different than the person next to me and different than people that I had confided in that kind of didn't relate. So um, I really wish for you to, to first and foremost just know that you are on a very unique path that is yours alone. And so, you know, if your husband or your boyfriend knocks down an idea you have, if your, you know, your close tribe of friends can't really relate to what you're up to, it's not their fault. And so, you know, they're not wrong and it's not their fault, but it's really your job to support yourself and find an environment that can support you. And first and foremost, you can create that with yourself just by starting a journal if you don't already journal and just start to write down your feelings. I mean, I think that's sometimes why we don't journal because sometimes it's hard to actually slow down and actually note our feelings or we don't want to look at our feelings, but our feelings are always guideposts for us. So, you know, just to start a journal and note down like what's going on for you, what you're up to, what, you know, confide like you would in a therapist and also then write down your dreams as you start to spend time in a journal more and more of that inspiration will come to you. So even if you're just doing a few minutes a day and you keep a small little book in your purse, it's a great, great exercise I recommend. Um, the other two things I wanted to share kind of are twofold about how do we stay loyal to our dreams. Um, and one of them, so, so one end of the spectrum is that you, you do really have to keep in mind that there's opportunity cost, right? opportunity cost for not doing something. And sometimes, you know, we hear that term in business, right? And, and we hear it maybe in the financial context of things, but, but it's a truth. There, 
is only so much time and that's the one commodity that we can never make back. And so, you know, you do want to keep that in mind, not to be fear-based and coming from scarcity, like, oh my gosh, there's not enough time or I'm missing out or living from regrets, which I don't believe. However, let it be a little bit of a fire in your belly and, and a little bit of an alarm clock of you to wake up to and to remember that, okay, yeah, I've got my daily responsibilities and, and we have those. We have our survival needs. We need to pay the bills today. We need to take care of our kids and our homes and our pets and our bodies and all these things that make us whole and bring us fulfillment and happiness too. However, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in the day to day that we don't take action on what's really going to move the needle, you know, for our deepest satisfaction, for what we really came here to do, sometimes for even a, a much bigger economic payback as well. So, so keeping that in mind, like what am I missing out on when I don't take action, when I don't start doing the baby steps? You know, what, what am I missing? What's the opportunity cost? And what will it be if I never take action on this dream I've been carrying? And then the other end of that spectrum, because it really is a bit of a paradox, is this is a saying and it's a truth that this woman, Colette Baron reed who's, who's fabulous, says, which is, what is for you will not go past you. So there's certain things that we truly will not miss. It's like when there's universal forces, there's angels, there's guidance teams that are going to be directing us back and back to, to making that decision and learning that lesson, you know? And so there's a reason sometimes we have, there is a reason why we have these themes in our lives, but truly what, what is for us will not go past us yet that doesn't give us, you know, license to just sit on the couch and, and eat bonbons, right? And just expect everything to drop on our lap because it won't. So there's a measure of action we need to take. There's steps that we need to take towards that opportunity. So, so there's both opportunity cost as well as, you know, there's that deep knowing that your desires and your dreams are in you for a reason because they're what you actually contracted to do. And, and life doesn't tell you that. Day-to-day -day living doesn't really support that often when you're still maybe in a job that is you need but isn't really what you want to be doing now or you, know, you created a relationship or a life five or 10 or 20 years ago or last year that you know, no longer supports who you are today and who you want to become. So, you know, you need to make some changes. Those, those sometimes are obviously big things, but um, it's the small things too, that because we're in such a time of high distraction in our culture with, you know, you don't need to be told what all the distractors are, right? Um, it's really easy to just keep putting what really matters on the back burner. So I want to remind you, please stay loyal to your dreams and just start taking baby steps and ask yourself, what's something that I can do today? You know, I um, emailed myself a bunch of things the other day that I had been kind of putting off. And I just realized, you know what, Leslie, you need to just take an hour and, and do all these things. And some of them are really important to me, you know, in terms of philanthropic giving back and, and steps that I want to take to start something going there. And, and, um, and others were, were, were just tasks that I put off. But, you know, the truth be told is that it's really easy to put off what's going to matter the most to us and what probably feels the most scary to us. So just remember that, you know, your fears are going to be unique too. So often it's the people that are closest to us that love us the most that really are not meant to be sounding boards for us. 
when we're looking at doing something unique and different and making some decisions that might impact them too, you know? So there's always, of course, a time and a, and a place to, to fold them in and to consult them, but sometimes we do that a little too prematurely and then it shuts down our dream. So I hope that this is inspiring and helpful to you. I wish you a fabulous day and I'll be in touch soon. Okay, take care.